<laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing, Vivian? Hey, I'm good, thanks, guys. How are you? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, okay. cooked, per usual. Yep. Yeah, same. Um. Okay. All right. To put it plainly, uh, since. We last spoke and uh, you know i've been weighing up a lot of options i've spent mm. time talking to a lot of people and getting different thoughts and opinions and <laughs> um there were people came back with a uh, kind of in a similar vein to as you were saying about me but uh people came back saying the the same name a couple of times not more than a couple of times and um uh, ruby's name was brought up mm. Uh, reflecting on it, I understand that you have concerns with Ruby, and there may have been like errors uh, in the past, things like that. But ultimately, yeah. I, before I want before I speak to her, I'm trying to make a case to you. Essentially, um, I think the work that she's done with Shift Two has been great. I've seen her handle members of the public. Um, and I've seen how irate they've got and how much they have tried to get into Ruby's face and she's always stayed calm and handled them well. Uh, I understand sometimes mistakes are made and sometimes there's slip ups, um, but I, I, I don't believe that that is a major factor for her. Uh, I also feel as though uh, she is definitely someone who, if they, she doesn't agree with me, she will air that. And um, she'll do so with the with the department's best interests at heart. Yeah, I believe that. Um, I mean, we can have our disagreements and things like that, but that's yeah. kind of also what I want. She's definitely not as stern as me. She's not as firm as me, but uh, she can put her foot down when she wants to. Yeah. Um. I think she'd be good, and I'm I'm willing to uh, see how we would work together. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. The only thing is, is obviously I'm aware that she's not exactly your choice. Yeah. Um. But at the end of the day, she would be mine, and I do think yeah. out of everybody there is, <laughs> she's the better one. Yeah. Um. Uh, she's done. She has done wonders for the officers within Shift Two. Now I understand there have you know there may have been slip ups and stuff like that, um, but that's something that I would then oversee in the position of chief anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I appreciate you uh, being forthcoming. Uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that I think have happened over the last couple of days that, where I sense there's been a very unnecessary pressure that's uh been put on you and frankly put on a lot of officers as the last three days while trying to you know talk to uh different officers i've been getting phone call after phone call for what can best be described as uh paranoia anxiety etc etc um and i I want to ask you rather flatly has anyone indicated uh to you or others that a chief of police needs to be chosen immediately has anyone indicated to me that one needs to be chosen yeah. immediately you or like other officers no, no not not as far as i'm aware okay because um okay um i know for me uh like it's been i felt a bit like i've been in limbo a little bit because obviously i put plans in place and i'm kind of itching to get started but i'm also aware that nothing is set in stone right and things yeah. could change yeah uh, it was I, also kind of awkward trying to have conversations with people when you potentially yeah. taking somebody's possession and stuff like that that was that I, was the only I issue agree. that i was having and i think there's a lot of mistakes i made along the way one is the blurting out of what I did, setting a timeline. Um, and transparently, Vivian, I've barely been able to think 
with the amount of other offices literally blowing up my phone at a increasing rate as Wait, really it, it's been so bad uh what and i mean hang on wait you had officers demanding that you appoint a chief no but that's what they think is happening it's it's hard to explain how you know have you ever seen that little emoji called weedage <laughs> it's like you know something's there but it shouldn't be there you know you kind of right. get what i'm saying and yeah. it makes it everything very awkward for me um and in turn i feel absolutely awful indirectly kind of putting you in this position because it's hard for me to like not feel as though you're getting some of that pressure um uh, and I mean, i'm just i'm just here doing what i'm doing at the end of the day even if things don't work out i can still you know use my plans somewhat for shift one right yeah so it's not like i'm doing everything and thinking oh my god this is gonna go to waste and yeah i mean i don't i don't really feel too much pressure i just i struggle to try and have conversations in a agreed like a concealed manner in a way to try and get opinions on things you know mm. yeah my my um my i think biggest struggle when talking to officers they indicate that to me is um at the end of the day the PD is not my primary set of constituents. Um, right. It's the, let's say 350 people that voted for me, all of which did so under very particular wishes. Yeah. And I see the police department as an extension of their wish. Right. Um, and right. my, you know, there was never you know my original timeline was to give uh Beric four weeks and i think with uh him flipping i don't know really threw my plans out of place right and with this empty hole in shift two which is really where most of my constituents come from it leaves me in a position where i say well i cannot leave that un mm, how do i put this i cannot make a decision without a clear compatible plan even if that means i gotta wait and even if that means it's going to result in um people feeling a certain kind of way and uh at the end of the day um if i do not hold to their wishes then i never should have been elected to begin with now um where does that leave things um ruby is the reason this snowball is one of the reasons that i snowballed into taking this position i can never see her regardless of what she's done for the lspd in the position of ass chief or a member of high command um well, even under a new chief Mm -hmm. can i ask why um yes i don't think she cares about the people i think she only cares about cops i don't i disagree with that yeah and and you know you might be right but the thing you know, is is that's how people view ruby now who's under barrack who has mm. very much not done fucking anything she didn't want to provide a foyer to me which ultimately resulted in me screaming at crane after her and other members of high command brought it up to him resulting in that foyer legislation that there's there now when i simply asked for a little bit of help for me and the rest of the lawyers the only thing that came out of her mouth was, well, it's not in legislation. And I remember the cheeky way she said it. And that is not somebody that is for the people. And the only time 
she perked up outside of that is when she was under the impression that Tilly had leaked documents to me. And to me, that spoke volume. And, you know, um, and then came the incident where I had a client in the cells dying. He'd been left in there for like 20, 25 minutes, piss all over the place, slammed his head against the, the toilet, blood everywhere. And me and his arresting officer stood around, our, um, went over there. He was trying to figure out what to do with him. I'm like, listen, we got to call EMS, bring in the doctors. And her and Frost come over. Frost starts screaming at me. And um, these two are in, like more clearly worried about what's going to happen um, to the PD image rather than what's happened to this guy. Which in and of itself was exceptionally shocking. And, um, and so okay. while these <laughs> may have been exceptions, you know, for me to say, hey, let's have this person. I While I have a platform that's so the antithesis of that, and it's based on some of those experiences to say, you know what, let's give it a shot and uh, have her take over the shift where all my, you know, where all my votes came from. It, it'd be insane. Okay, so the thing is, is uh, if that really, why did nothing happen at the time? Uh, which which one? Like, uh, it, you know these these things that you've just informed me of, they're they're pretty egregious, right? Like, I, the I would be mortified. The foyer and the and the uh, your client in the cells. Because right? Barrick was the chief of police. Right, but it, he will not be the chief of police. Bro, do think the twenty seven months. Right. I do not have faith that I would hold Ruby accountable and I would ensure that that shit doesn't happen. Uh, I trust that that's a good question, Vivian. And I think you would, but her simple appointment in and of itself is and will be a massive optics era because the people that I have sworn to serve when I stood in the room and took an oath alongside Andy and the others in that room I'd be going against that oath yeah I, I understand what you're trying to say uh, the 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 thing that I have issue with is that, you know, sort of uh, contemplating like the uh, potential candidates and stuff like that for assistant chief. Mm. Uh, we've come across a few who have, you know, uh, marks across their, I don't know, record. Well, so let me let me ask um, you something. Did what happened this morning, did it actually happen? Because I'm confused. Because I don't know if it did or did it anymore. <laughs> it didn't. Oh my god, so, oh. yeah, so we got Peters, that's an option. So Peters, there are other reasons yeah. why I would not have Peters. Wait, what do you mean other reasons? No, well, I, before all of <laughs> the thing that happened this morning that didn't happen this morning happened, uh, I was informed yeah. of a report that uh, where Peters had <laughs> incapacitated the suspect and not even written a report. Wait, it got red card, bro, wait, what? Nearly a month ago. Yeah. Um... But then there was also one where he threatened to kill a hostage and another officer witnessed it. Uh, there's there's a few things that are being looked into right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've prompted BCSO and spoken with the command today because I want to know the outcome of that. Okay. Um... Let's say that was all looked into and it was found all above board, right? We'd still... Yeah, so we got Peters, then... we got Liam... Um... I'm going to be honest, uh, yeah. Nino, I don't think I want Nino as an ass chief. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I don't want him there either. I have <laughs> no I'm interest joking. in... I'm, in joking. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, I, yeah, I, I mean, listen, no I appreciate it. I've thought about it because technically nothing in legislation disallows me to become the chief of police. 
but you know i simply want the boat in place and then set it sail and then i'm done i i am very aware of what of, of what your intention is um I just cannot put the boat in when there's a clear, massive break in the hull, which is shift two. <laughs> you get right. what I'm saying? No, I, I understand. But I feel like with the correct person to steer that ship, i.e. myself, yeah. above Ruby, to hold her accountable and see the results I from can't. her, yeah. that shift two could get back on track. You know here's what's kind of odd um and this is might help paint a picture of why i went from like enjoying my ride with liam getting to know him to just being like kind of just like wanting to put more space in between all this is um uh and and letting it simmer longer i get in the vehicle with 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 liam and um my phone starts blowing up and it went ruby yourself mcnulty within the span of five minutes when was that and then it, it was i was with liam just a little like like two hours back oh you were with him today oh i didn't yeah realize. yeah it was with liam we were because you know i wanted to pick his brain and get an right, I right, idea right. i need to know who he is because yeah you know no i got it and um and then i eventually you know mcnulty calls me back and he, it sounds like he's in the middle of a shootout and he's like hey by the way uh yeah you know i want to be chief of police or assistant chief and I, i'm pretty sure i wanted to what? do that and i'm like brother we had four conversations you originally said you didn't want to do any of that shit, and then you told me you weren't interested in any of it it's like, no, we only talk once. We spoke four times, Vivi. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And so I hope you understand, like, why I'm like, where is this coming from? Right? Like, where? Why is this anxiety? Like, why are people freaking out? And and then he tells me Ruby told him. What? Yeah. Uh, I feel like you might be shielded from some of the 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 crazy that's happening, and that's no, coming my way. I have way. a feeling it's because it's potentially going to me. I have that yeah. feeling. Mm -hmm. Which shouldn't even be there what... to begin with. No. Okay. Um... Yeah. So, you know, if, if I seem a little despaired, it's because very similar like the incident earlier today. Even just this whole situation in general is just so odd yep um um so mcnulty i yeah like I, I have considered him i spoke to you earlier today about him uh but i i'm also aware that he is very shift two oriented yeah he's never gonna look at the wider picture no he he literally in the call was like yeah, I'll take chief. I'll take ass chief. Oh, uh, yeah, but you know, I mostly want to do patrol. Don't want to do the paperwork. Oh, by the way, I'm in like a, a shootout. Yeah, I'm like, no. wait, wait. And I'm like, hey, can wait? Can you explain your thought? And he's like, no, no. Um, um. And then he's like, hey, I gotta go. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. So at most, I would put McNulty as a captain and never ass chief. Yeah. Um. And the reason being is that he will openly say well not my shift whenever he's in shift one bearing in mind he's on patrol in shift one he's still a lieutenant it doesn't matter whether it's his shift or not mm. he is still a lieutenant of the lspd and he has the attitude of well not my shift yeah. uh, if an officer if a shift one officer receives a complaint well shift one things um that's not an assistant chief that's a captain at best i still wouldn't expect that as a captain or a lieutenant to be honest with you that's not what i'm looking for mm. attitude wise but that is not an assistant chief yeah but even this what i perceive to be a bit of a i don't know why where ruby and why she did what she did today I'm just gonna add to the pool and, and i get i trust you 
but you know there's like that saying about you know um she's got too much baggage for me to be comfortable I want to um I need time to think today's been a hell of a fucking day for me um and uh um, no, I, I completely understand um, and uh you know I as I've said before uh, unless I feel comfortable that my decision is gonna represent those I've taken an oath to um I don't really see an objective reason why a decision needs to be made I've yet to actually hear one um y'all are running um running but um you know I genuinely don't think this PD can get any worse <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of my mentality on it yeah that's why I'm kind of willing to give that a go uh, I just I really don't want to be fucking around with people um yeah. so much within the department that it has an adverse effect to the point where i probably would have to be removed for anything to yeah. be able to work i think um, um there's something I, there's something i'm gonna it. email you about and okay. uh i'm not gonna say it out loud because i don't want it to get out yeah no i get it okay um well I'll let you mull over everything. I'll yeah. go away, mull over everything. I uh, would hopefully. ask a favor. Okay. That if there is a rat fuck going around, starting amongst the PD, implying we need to make a decision ASAP, please do let me know, because I'm going to have a very yeah. clear choice set of words for them. Because okay. it is dangerous. It's toxic. And if it's causing a severe amount of paranoia among, among the police force, I'm going to make it very clear that that needs to stop. Yeah. No, I get it. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. I appreciate that, Vivian. All right. You both have a good evening, okay? See you later, Viv. See you later. <sighs> Man, I feel bad for... Her. 